This is a 1946 Dodge pickup truck and I uh, added a piece in the front that uh, holds up the one piece front end and it also holds up the sway bar and it also acts as a skid plate and it also holds up the radiator and the fans and so it's uh, made out of 3 16th thick wall one and a half inch square tube which is pretty heavy kind of hate to throw all that weight at it but I needed something really strong because that's it's gonna hold up a lot and if you look in here you see I added the sway bar and the sway bar connects down onto that tube I put in there and I put the radiator in and there's plenty of clearance for in front for the fans down in there and I can get to the radiator cap and the whole front end is going to flip up so I could really easily get to it once I flip the front end up and I get a little bit of cutting to do over here because it's getting kind of close to the fender but other than that it's pretty good so I'm going to move the whole entire front end See, I got this whole entire frame section that I made. And it goes down and goes underneath that, and it's about a little over four inches high, which isn't very high. So that's why it has to have like a skid plate because I only have about two and two and three quarters of an inch of uh, suspension travel. So every time I hit a bump that's really nasty, it's probably going to bottom out. So the next thing I'm going to do is to get some stainless plate and put that in front of the radiator and put my fans on so they'll be push fans. And then I have to make something to uh, connect some hinge points up here. And those hinge points will act to pivot the whole entire front end out of the way. Talk to you next time.